Congressman Greg Stubbe from House Judiciary. Sh sir, we love having you on. Okay, this, late, this latest outrage, where the heck are, are A.G. Garland, DHS Secretary Mayorkas, the FBI on this? Why isn't Antifa classified as a domestic terror group and dismantled? We're going to show the video. Antifa militants dressed in black attacked a group of volunteers in Portland, Oregon. They were rallying support for giving more money to police. Children and seniors were in this crowd. They got attacked. What do you say? Well, we have a politically weaponized DOJ and Department of Homeland Security. Just last week, we had Secretary Mayorkas in the Judiciary Committee, and I asked him specifically, would you classify Antifa and BLM along with other white nationalists, uh, far right domestic terrorist organizations? And he flat out said no. This is a political organization that the DHS is ignoring violence from the extreme left while focusing on violence from the extreme right, and they don't hide it. He straight up said that in the committee last week and then failed to mention a single case of white nationalism or domestic terrorism that they referred from DHS to DOJ. How could he not have at his fingertips this information? Now, well, they keep citing white supremacy, and he doesn't have any case at all he goes into the hearing, doesn't have information on the 42 terrorists and that were apprehended at the U.S. ports of entry, doesn't know where they are. I mean, a former AG Bill Barr congressman said this is guerrilla urban warfare. I mean, why is this allowed to happen? This is not just an ideology, as FBI Director Chris Wray and Jerry Nadler tried to claim. Does an ideology throw fireworks, smoke grenades, hit with hammers and wrenches? Do they, do they go after children and seniors? Is that what an ideology does? It's just an ideology? Yeah, and I read the definition of domestic terrorism right before I came on, just to refresh my recollection. And exactly what Antifa did to this group of people and this Republicans and all of this is exactly what the definition says. And it's exactly what we saw all over the summer of 2020, attacking federal courthouses, attacking individuals, uh, killing officers like David Dorn. And I specifically asked him that. And it's clear that, that white nationalism and these far right groups that they say is the number one threat to the homeland actually isn't while ignoring all this far left domestic terrorist activity that's happening all across the country because we have a weaponized, politicized DOJ and Homeland Security. Our founding fathers, I'm sure they didn't want vigilantism. We had two people injured. One adult male had an injury to his hand. An adult female complained of hearing loss. It took 20 minutes, reportedly, for the cops who are underfunded in Portland to show up or to protect free speech there. And they, they were allegedly also attacking the people's convoy truckers. You know, crime in Portland has skyrocketed. There were 91 homicides in Portland, Oregon last year. That broke the old record of 66 murders in 1987. Yeah, it took them 20 minutes to show up because they're significantly under personal. They, they have nowhere near the personnel that they need to have. They don't have the officers that they need to have because a lot of them have left because of a year or so ago with all the riots that happened in Portland. And I don't blame them. Uh, law enforcement officers should be supported, not defunded. Law enforcement officers should be given the proper funding to be able to do their job. And that's absolutely not what happens in these democratically run cities and states, which is why people are flocking to states like Florida, where there is safety and security, yeah. and we, we support our police officers. And you know what happens? The tax base, the tax revenues leave with those people fleeing, and the people stuck here or wherever they are, they, they in New York City, which is where I live, is they, they're going to see their property taxes go up and their taxes skyrocket because the tax pay base leaves, meaning the people leave because of crime, right? So the, the, we need common sense. We don't have common sense with this crowd in D.C. Your final word. Yeah, businesses aren't going to operate when they can't have safety and security to know that their places aren't going to get broken into, they're not going to be um, to all their products stolen. And when you don't have a secure environment and police officers are not supported to the level they need to be supported at, small businesses are going to leave right behind everybody else. Congressman Greg Stubbe, thanks for joining us.